Hello everyone, I'm Malinda. Welcome back to the Grammar lesson. Today we are going to learn about another type of pronoun, indefinite pronoun. Okay, from my earlier lessons, I mentioned about two types of pronouns. Personal pronoun and demonstrative pronoun. Now we are going to turn our attention on another type of pronoun, indefinite pronoun. Okay, before going to move with this lesson, let's remember again what is a pronoun. Pronoun is a word that we use instead of noun or noun phrase. Pronoun act as a subject or object in the sentence and also can be a singular or plural. By using pronoun, we can avoid the repetition of same noun. Okay, let's talk about what is an indefinite pronoun. Indefinite pronouns also we use instead of noun or noun phrase. That is to say indefinite pronouns are referred to a noun or object unlike personal pronoun or demonstrative pronoun, these indefinite pronouns refer to a one or more unspecific things or object. That is why we call them indefinite pronouns, because uh, they do not indicate a specific person, animal, place or thing. Therefore, we cannot identify as exact person, animal, place or things by using indefinite pronoun. Okay, this is the largest group of pronoun because it includes many words. However, there is an easy way to identify indefinite pronouns. Most of indefinite pronouns begin with a word like any, some, no, every. But they all end with word like body, one, or thing. For example, anybody, anyone, anything, somebody, someone, something, nobody, no one, nothing everybody everyone everything okay remember pronoun end with body and one for example anybody anyone somebody someone everybody everyone nobody no one these words refer to a unspecific people and also pronoun end with thing for example anything something nothing everything these are referred to a unspecific things Okay, in addition to these words, we use some words as uh, indefinite pronouns, for example, some, much, several, all, each, such, uh, some of them. There are a lot of words we use as uh, indefinite pronoun. Okay, everyone, these all words we use to refer to uh, unspecific things or people. They can be a singular or plural. Remember, indefinite pronouns end in body, thing, or one are often used as a singular indefinite pronoun. So for example, anyone, anybody, anything, someone, somebody, something, no one, nothing, nobody, everyone, everything, everybody. These act as a singular indefinite pronoun. So therefore, they should proceeded by singular verb. Okay, let's move with some example. Look at this example. Everybody loves ice cream. Everything is ready for the party. No one likes John's cooking. There is nothing in the fridge. Okay, look at the first example. Everybody loves ice cream. Yeah, everybody acts as indefinite pronouns because it's referred to a unspecific group of people. We don't know who are they. That is why we used indefinite pronouns, everybody. And also it acts as a singular indefinite pronouns because it follows the verb singular form loves. Okay, let's move with next example. Everything is ready for the party. Here also everything acts as indefinite pronouns because it referred to unspecific things. We don't know what are these things. Uh, and also it acts as a singular indefinite pronouns because it follows the verb singular form. Okay, look at the third example. No one likes John cooking. Yeah, also no one act as a indefinite pronouns and eight act as a singular indefinite pronouns because follows the verb singular form likes. Okay, let's turn our attention on last example. There is nothing in the fridge. Here also nothing act as indefinite pronouns because it referred to unspecific things and stand as a singular indefinite pronouns. Okay, everyone, when you look at this first three example, everybody, everything, no one, they stand in the sentence as a subject. But when you look at the last example, nothing, here it acts as an object of the sentence. Okay, when you look at this all examples, it's clear 
indefinite nouns can act as a subject or object in the sentence and also they refer to unspecific things or people. Okay everyone, there are some indefinite nouns we use as a plural. For example, all, both, few, many, several are some of words. These words we use as a plural indefinite nouns. Okay, let's see some examples. Look at this example. All are welcome to the birthday party. Both are good. Several letters have received this morning. Okay, everyone. When you look at these three examples here, all, both, and several act as an indefinite noun because they refer to a unspecific people or things. And also they act as a plural indefinite noun because they follow the verb plural form. Okay everyone, in this lesson I mentioned about what is an indefinite noun and how to use it. Remember again indefinite nouns we use to refer to a unspecific person, animal, place or thing. It can be a subject or object in the sentence and also can be a singular or plural. Okay, thank you for watching my video. See you soon with another grammar lesson. Bye bye.